Good morning traders. Welcome to the Phoenix Blue morning update on Wednesday the 24th of February. I'm Tom Colley presenting this morning. Uh, I'm one of the uh, trader coaches at Phoenix Blue. Um, we'll be going over to the normal uh, things we look at in the morning, the Asian markets, any um, current orders, any resting orders, etc, etc shortly. Um, but seeing as the uh, Trading Tuesdays video was out last night, um, there isn't quite as much to talk to uh, talk about as sometimes. So um, I thought I'd respond to a few of the questions we've had in the last few days. Uh, one of the questions has been um, the timings and when videos um, are available. Uh, this video, the morning update video, we uh, look to bring to you every trading morning before 9 o'clock UK time. Okay, on the same note, we're going to have a quick look at when and why we post uh, videos on our YouTube channel, um, why they're relevant and how they link together. Now, I mentioned having some feedback. If you have any comments, you want any more information, email us at info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Um, Updates through the day on our Instagram channel. We're also on Facebook. And there's my email address there if you have any specific questions about um, this morning's video. Okay, so um, Phoenix Blue videos. Why, what are they, and when do we release them? Well, the big video comes out every other week, and that's called Dissect and Detect. This is where we um, pull the market apart. We use our three types of analysis. That's the uh, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and, and analysis of um, the Commitment to Traders report um, to give us a full picture of the market and potential trading opportunities for the two weeks ahead. What we saw last night um, was the Trading Tuesdays video. Um, that's intended to supplement, dis dissect and detect in that it allows the markets to open at the beginning of the week. Um, we can take account of what's happened uh, and update traders um, on exactly how our positions are developing and if anything else comes to the table. Then we have the morning update that you're listening to now, which will come to you every weekday before 9 a.m. UK time. Now, the big thing about these three videos is that the Dissect and Detect and the Trading Tuesdays are more specific in terms of entries, stop losses, uh, analysis, etc., than the morning update. The reason for this is um, these two videos will in due course only be available to our protege uh, delegates. Um, we are a new company. We are, are using these as a tool to create brand awareness. Um, so those of you who aren't on one of our courses and are seeing this are, are benefiting from our ahead of time analysis and um, specific details on specific trades um, on, the ba uh, on the basis that that won't be an ongoing picture. The morning update will continue. That's intended to um, support our delegates in its uh, means of communication on a daily basis. They will already have um, detailed analysis. Um, I, I mentioned that the uh, Dissect and Detect video came out every second weekend. Delegates also get a watch list on the weekends between. Um, and any other, obviously, direct feedback between uh, times between videos. Okay, now if you want to uh, keep on top of this, if you simply subscribe to our trading channel, you will receive a, um, a, an email every time we, we um, upload a video as it's uploading, so you'll see it as soon as it's available. Okay. Additional live updates through the day on the Instagram uh, at phoenixbluetrading.co.uk and obviously any questions in there. So hopefully that clarifies a little bit of where we are with the videos. Again, as I say, you're benefiting at the moment from access to a large proportion um, of information that won't subsequently be available um, without being part of our uh, protege program. Okay, well, over to the news for today. Um, we talked about um, it being a quiet week from a news perspective. Um, the only red news item we have today are the crude oil inventories uh, out of the USA at 3.30 this afternoon. However, we are keeping an eye open, as we've said before, on all central bank 
um, speeches, and there's a couple here, one from the Canadian dollar uh, and one from the British pound, the Bank of England. Um, the reason we're uh, keeping an eye on these is, is what's called geopolitical risks. There's a lot of volatility in the marketplace at the moment because uh, there's a lot of political uncertainty around the world. Uh, traders typically don't get too tied into politics. Um, they're more interested in the economics of things. But at the moment, there is such a, um, a logjam of uh, things that are of concern to traders. Um, these being at this moment in time, we have the Brexit, the UK potential exit from the euro, uh, probably from the EC. Uh, Tensions in the South China Seas, where China is trying to uh, reinforce its um, claim to some somewhat small islands. Uh, Middle East conflict, always an issue, but more so at the moment with um, the addition of ISIS to the picture over the last few years. Um, falling oil prices, European uh, refugee crisis, and uncertainty in the US presidential election and possibly uh, fears from um, the success Donald Trump's having over there. But over and above these, possibly the biggest risk that you haven't thought of is a spike up in the price of oil. If one of these events, particularly a Middle East conflict, were to um, cut off supplies, we could potentially see a big spike in prices, which could lead to a worldwide recession. Um, so another fear in that area. Now that's being reflected at the moment in that um, the major fund managers around the world are sitting on more cash than they have since 2001. That means that they're ready to move quickly. That means for us that the markets will be volatile, but there is potential for very fast, very big movements um, in, a, in a short period of time uh, as the funds try to get out of markets uh, all at the same time. For that reason, we continue to trade in the markets even though volatility is high, but we are trading at reduced risk. Okay, over to uh, the Far Eastern markets overnight. Uh, this is the um, US dollar one Chinese one interest rate. Uh, again, a, a bit a bit more um, weakness on the Chinese one. We had the big move down. It's not a significant break above this level yet, um, but we'll be following that through the week um, as we see whether uh, this currency pair continues to be devalued by um, the Chinese government. Uh, the Shanghai Composite, um, above this critical level here, which is the 2015 lows, um, it's not giving us anything really uh, strong to write home about. We've had a number of closes above that level, um, but no, uh, no definite strength on an ongoing basis yet. Over on the Nikkei, very much the same. Uh, we're very much trading within a range at the moment. Um, so we will continue just to look at those every morning, um, even if it's only to say uh, there isn't a great deal happening at the moment. Now, we mentioned the dollar in in index uh, earlier in the week. Um, we're still at this level at about 97.50. Um, we're looking for break above to uh, continue our bias of dollar strength, um, heading up to these higher levels around the $100 mark. Okay, um, US dollar JPY, the yen, uh, that's on here today because price is down. It's down to this nice trend line here. Um, we're watching this level at about 115.50 for a potential short trade, but we will also be uh, interested in shorting the yen if um, strength brings it to break this trend line. We'll then be looking for a close below and a retest of the trend line for an opportunity to get down into this level around 105, um, which would be our next target level. Okay, over on the Aussie, I know on Trading Tuesday last night, Mark spoke about uh, a contrarian trade long at this point. Um, I personally was in that trade. Uh, 
I put, I was stopped out, but it's really marginal depending on who your broker is and exactly where your stop was. You may still be in this trade um, for potential uh, for the contrarian trade up to this level here where we have an order in place in line with our bias. Um, having said that, we've had a close below the trend. Or we've actually had two closes below the trend line. So even if you are still in that trade, that uh, somewhat invalidates the picture and you might want to consider um, closing that position or, or certainly reducing risk even further. On from there, a US dollar CAD, the Canadian dollar. Well, we've had this order in place really way through last week. It's still a very valid level. Um, the point of interest is the trend line. If price moves across uh, over the co coming day and week or so, the confluence of these two will be an even stronger level. So until that um, confluence is no longer available to us or until um, we are something happens that uh, means that we can't it discounts this level ie a break higher or obviously um, a failure of that trade um, that trade will stay in place okay over to gold um, what we have here we've had a, a symmetrical triangle over the last few days this is the daily chart of gold we can see that overnight price has broken out there would have been an intraday opportunity to uh, trade the retest of the triangle um, however, what we're interested in today is a break above this level, which is the 116, sorry, the 618 fib from this movement here. Um, a break above that, close above, and a pullback to that level uh, with first targets through at the high here. We already have a call out because we are already looking for a break of this high and a retest to this level. So uh, a trade from this level will give us an early entry into that. Uh, we'll take profits here. We'll allow price to break if it does so. Pull back to this uh, same area here for an add-in trade to go longer again. Okay, guys. Um, so that's about it for today. Just what I showed you yesterday here. Reasons why you might want to come and talk to us more um, about our style, our, our three-tier analysis, how we can improve your results, how we can make you more profitable with a, with a smaller number of winners. Um, any questions, please email us at info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Um, okay, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. And um, I look forward to speaking to you again on the morning update tomorrow. Goodbye.